Hi guys and welcome in another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you all that you need to know about in and out points in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. So what are in and out points? In and out points are usually used to mark only one part or section of a clip and then work with it. As you can see here I'm in the edit page. I have the dual viewer. If you want to enable it just click here. So this left viewer is the source viewer and this is the timeline viewer. So let's say in the source viewer I look any clips here and if I want to select only one part of it you can scrub using the cursor here or you can click and hold the jog wheel and move it left and right now let's say you I want to select this part I hit the mm -hmm. I key and then move it here and I want to mark the out point I hit mm -hmm. the letter O and now this section is selected now if I just want to add this section of the clip from the source viewer to the timeline mm -hmm. all I can do is drag the clip to the right and when this menu opens you select one option I will append it to the end and now only the selection that was marked with the in and out points is appended to the end of the timeline. Now you can also use the in and out points in the timeline. Same procedure here. I for in point, O for out point. And now if I click outside the clips in the empty area, you will see that only that section is highlighted. Now to remove the in and out points, if you want to remove only the in point, you hit the Alt key and I. And now the in point is removed. If we want to remove only the out point then you will click alt and o and now only the out point is removed and if you want to remove both of them at the same time you hit the alt and x key if you want to expand or contract the selection to the left or to the right you go to this circle here and wait for the cursor to turn to those left and right arrows and move it to wherever you want same for the left side now one other thing you could do is if you right click somewhere between the in and out points you can convert the in and out points in duration markers now two markers have been added if you double click here you can change the color and you can add some notes if I want to remove the markers, click here and remove the selected markers. Another trick, if you want to quickly add in and out points to select only one clip, all you can do is select the clip and hit the X button on the keyboard and it will add an in and out point on the selected clip only. Now also if I add an in point here and out point here, now if I just want to delete this part of the clip, I hit the backspace, it will delete only that section of the clip. And also if I want to cut only that part of the clip, it will cut it. And if I go to the end of the timeline, Ctrl V to paste it, only that part of the clip has been pasted. Now the in and out points can also be used in the other sections of the DaVinci Resolve 17. So if I go in the cut page and I want to add an in point here, hit the I button and then move scrap through the timeline, hit the O button and the in and out points have been added. Also in the fair light they will also be visible. If I want to add other in and out points in the fair light, I for in point and O for out point and those are added. In and out points are very useful and hopefully they will help you in your project. If you want to watch more DaVinci resolve tutorials click the card above if you learn something from this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and with you guys see you in the next one thank you for watching and bye